here we are getting a macro and uh, this is my testing scenario in here we are going to review the three options that might might have uh, might generate some questions about the new update here i have my tlx 3500 this is the single cap with the um with the uh, prospector band and we're gonna jump in because we've received the call that there is a machinery in the middle of the forest that ran out of fuel of course that is a complex situation and in this truck we don't have fuel we cannot carry fuel but there is a solution let's jump into the store let's first of all get down here and i'm just gonna leave the bed i'm just gonna park backwards disconnect the bed move a little bit way and customize that bit in here it resets to configuration standard the only thing we need to go is to configure it uh, set it up as the um, as the service rack main color you can change it back to the color you want I'm gonna change it back to uh, to the new age but the only thing I want is to carry fuel so we're just gonna customize it yes and here we go we have here um, with the open beds we're gonna connect it we're gonna close the gates in now you're gonna look to uh, you're gonna look to another side because there is something something happening in your houses there is something happening there in uh, in yeah well you can look back again we have uh, 1500 liters of diesel loaded sorry load it into the uh into there but we cannot see them we see that there is the wheel refueling thing but we cannot see them so let's go let's go find uh the piece of machinery that it gets that ran out of fuel it's gonna be just right there in the middle of the forest even cut down a tree already and yeah he ran out of fuel so okay we can typical thing we position our truck next to it then we jump into here, we show the menu, and it doesn't show refill. Why? If we are carrying fuel, why not? Well, basically, because you are you are you have closed the compartments. Now you press left bumper and left in the D-pad. It opens the compartments. And if we jump in back into the for into the uh, harvester now we can click left right click and refill the machine once filled you can start it over and keep logging or doing whatever you want remember to close the covers close the covers is not unfold it's important it's not the same action unfold open the sides now we're gonna go back because we are going to park that one and we are going to check one of the other features that I want you that I want you to be crystal clear and how to use them. We're going to park it here and we'll see you in a minute. Well, here we are in the store and uh, right now one of the features that was uh, was like getting getting a lot of attention during the streams was the um the new the new blinkers that i've set up in the pickup beds now i'm gonna i'm gonna use the pickup bed xl now important important we have two trucks crew cap and single cap the crew cap works with anything that does not have the XL name in the end so pickup bed flatbed and tipper are going to be dedicated to the crew cap now does it mean that we're not going to have a TLX flatbed extended or XL and a tipper XL no we are going to have them both but not yet remember two hands in one brain sometimes half of it so if we move to the, to the right here in the store, you can see the Pickup Bed XL and the Prospector XL. Those are meant to be used with the single cap. Now I'm going to set up the single bed 
main color just to match my uh, my single cap I'm gonna use the new the new color now in the options we have as you seen before in the video tons of options the rag with light with no light the bull bars the new rack the rack with the warning beacons warning beacons and lights and we have also the possibility of having it with fuel beacons and on and on and on I'm just gonna go with everything but the everything is not all we can have even more everything because in the attaches also asked by you guys the community asked for that attaches I don't want the gooseneck to be default well you have it as an option attachers standard or gooseneck I'm just gonna get with the gooseneck because I like it now bumper same options not gonna review them Fenders, same options, not going to review them, and then we jump into sequentials. What are those? Now pay attention to the top uh, to the to, to the top part of the uh, of the tailgate. If we move left here, what it says tailgate, there is a uh, kind of gray gray area, greyish area that appears there. It shows us that in here in the store, it's visible, not in the field. We activated the tailgate uh, sequential blinkers. Now we can just also go to the right and select bumper. The bumper also gets darker. So it means that we have now the sequentials set down in the bumper. These ones in the bumper, they, they have more functions. They have blinkers, they have reverse lights and they have brake lights. So I'm going to go with the ones in the bumper. Well, you know what? I'm going to go with both with everything. Now moving back to the emblem, we have El Toro, El Toro Glow, you all know those options. And now we have El Toro 1, which we have the uh, TLX 3500 logo in the rack. Then we have Illuminated, yes, why not? Then we have only the letters El Toro, a little bit to the side, also Illuminated, or we have all of them. I'm gonna go with all of them. And just because, I'm just gonna go with the, the bumpers. The bumper, I'm gonna go with the off road because I like it better. So we're gonna buy it. And I don't remember if I'm using fenders or not. Yeah, I'm using the thin fenders. So I'm gonna disconnect that one here. Start the engine. Nicely lovely animation of the zeros there. So we're gonna go connect that bed. And I'm gonna customize it to set the fenders painted uh, with the main color just because they need to match. Uh, I cannot just not make it match. Sorry. Made a mistake here. And uh, uh, we're going to customize it very fast. So we go here. Now we customize it. And we lost the customizations. Why? So, well, it's easy because it was all left. Gooseneck. Oh, the gooseneck is not lost. It's, it's just, oh, it's the configurations that, is, that are lost. That's normal. That's normal. Uh, wide, thin, yeah, thin main, sequentials, both, and all of them. In now all of them okay customize yes okay now I jump in connect it again now what are the sequentials well let's start uh, let's start for the new uh, warning bar it's fat it's bigger it's brighter and it looks awesome guess what community asked for it community suggested it we made it and boom now lights we you will light them start and we have the El Toro glowing, everything, everything glows, and everything is shiny and beautiful. Next step, next step, and next step, here, welcome, welcome, because this color is night blue. But right now, we just bring the day into the night. With this setup, we go to 1, 1 a.m. in the morning. And usually, and using the same combinations that we have on the TLX 2020, right bumper, left bumper, and left and right, we are able to move the working lights set on the rack. Again, community asked for it, and it was possible, it was not crazy complex, and here we have them. Now, we're gonna disconnect everything, shut down the engine, because I want you to pay attention. Blinker left. Yes. Blinker right. Mirrors. Tailgate. It doesn't matter if we are in the night, they are bright. They are bright anyway, so we're gonna go to like 6 a.m. 
It's dark, but not. Oh, uh, yeah. But a little bit more. Let me go 7 a.m. Okay, now we. If you have a side panel on Xbox or on PlayStation 4, you can actually activate the hazards. And the hazards are looking beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. These are the blinkers. Same functionality here with the with the cover. Open cover. We are able to refill. Close cover. We are not able to refill anymore. So, having shown you that, I'm just gonna park down there. In uh, we are going to jump into the next implement. This time, we're going to need a crew cap. So, I'll see you in a minute. back in the store and the last element that I want you to show you is the tipper not the TLX20 tippet there's a lot of people trying to attach it it's not possible it's not working we're going to review the TLX 3500 tipper now it says 82,000 liters maximum capacity this is a common send uh, by the Giants testers and right now it's been rejected because of that reason. They re they asked me to remove the 82,000 liters as an unreal capacity. I've sent them a message. It's something common around for the people that don't like to play realistically. And I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting for a reply. So far, we're going to go with normal values, not to create any issue with anybody in case it's uh, in case it's rejected. Now we're gonna set up configurations. Pretty easy. Standard, extended, unreal, or forestry. Now, pay attention to what changes in the store when you switch between configurations. When you switch configuration standard to extended, the cover option just down here appears, so you can activate or deactivate the cover. The cover is not available without the extension. Now, same thing happens with the Unreal Capacity. The Unreal Capacity allows us to set up the cover. Now, if I move to the back of the, uh, of the attachment of the tipper, when we go to forestry, you see that tension bells appear in the, in the ground at the bottom of the bed and the tailgate just disappears, the tailgate is gone. And instead of having cover, we have options, standard or we have ramps. We can set up ramps in here in case you want to do a lawn care setup in order to carry on and load your mowers, your quad bikes, or whatever you want to put uh, up there. I'm sure you're gonna surprise me uh, like usual. Now we go to attachers and in the attachers you can actually set it up with a fixed rear hitch or an adjustable rear hitch. Why? Because if you go with the lifted, uh, for the lifted frames and you go fix it, the trailer is always going to be leaning backwards the attacher is too high so if you have a lifted crew cap just remember to choose the adjustable hitch now other than that lighting the all all like by everybody beacons yes or we can have the work lights all these options you've seen them before in the video in the in the slides that we have uh, explaining them right now I'm just gonna go with all of them and forestry attachers I'm gonna go fix it and options with ramps right now design color is doing nothing because we don't have a cover I'm just gonna buy it and we're gonna review it in the ground I've set it up here a classic, a classic uh, forestry or yeah, forestry care uh, type of track. Snorkel lights, over a bumper, nothing crazy, nothing, nothing fancy. And instead of going with the lifted frame, I'm going with the prospector ties. I believe those are going to be pretty, pretty common when uh, when when the mod is released. Now we're gonna go backwards. We're going to connect it. And as you can see, even with that, the rear hitch is not that high, it's, it's just fine. Now, how do we use the ramps? How do we use the ramps? Okay, just pay attention. I'm going to pop up the help menu. And we are going to press right bumper. Let me change it. Come on. Control, controls. Ah, there we go. So we're going to press right bumper and left on the right stick. Now, just pay attention to the speed that you animate those. You can go faster, but since the animation allows you to actually control the height of the ramps, you can actually go very low because it's prepared for use the lift, the lift frame. 
So just try not to go, uh, try not to go crazy here. This is how you use them. It's nothing. It's nothing difficult. Now you can carry. You can load anything in your ramp. You can, uh, for example, I don't know if I have my mowers here. Yeah, I do have my mowers. So we're just gonna get one mow it. These beautiful things. A million downloads in the mow it. Awesome. And just in case you don't know it, this is the horn of the mow it. And he's awesome. Thanks also to the community. Uh, we're gonna try to load it. Remember, I'm very bad doing these things. Oh, well, there we go. Well, that was that was nice. Now we jump here. We can strap it down. The mow it is strappable. And then we fold the ramps on the sides. And off we go. Start of the engine. And you can transport your mow it wherever wherever you want to transport it now since it's loaded the configuration it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna tip it's gonna allow you to feel the ground I'm gonna just gonna leave the course just here you are gonna see how it behaves loaded <laughs> I love this suspension I really really like the prospector suspension. Now, with that and with all these explanations, I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to my uh, to my store to my placing area. Here you have the testing area that we've seen on the on the other part of the video. I'm just gonna head back here, and with that image. We'll see you in the next section. Thank you guys.